Okay, let's move on to our third sample script. Okay, uh, in this sample script, we have both a sub procedure and function procedure. Here is our sub function, sub procedure, I mean sub procedure and uh, function procedure. Let's go ahead and run the script, see how it works, and then we'll come back and review it line by line. It says about to call uh, convert uh, temp sub. Uh, it starts line 20. So, bow whatever we have about 20 is pretty standard. Okay, it says um, you know it's asking for a value. It's a coming from message box. Let's see where that is. Uh, from so that's line 26. So, so let's do 100. Then I have from convert tip sub that's here line 27. I am inside convert temp that's here. And it says again about to call a self function uh, function that is I'm inside Celsius. This is from line 34. And we have a message that says temperature is so and so, and that is coming from line 29. Looks like it um, looks like um, the script went into the sub function, then it went to <coughs> the function, and then came came back to sub, and then it uh, finished. Okay, let's see. So here is the first message that we saw, which is about to call, and then it's calling convert temp. And what is convert temp? Convert temp is a sub procedure, and within this sub procedure, I have an input box, and it's asking for a temperature in degrees, and it's taking that input and assigning it to the temperature variable. And then I have a bunch of uh, you know messages that are displaying, kind of, to visually prove that it is still inside the sub procedure. And then uh, there is this another third message line, and in here it says the temperature is something in degrees Celsius. It took here it took the temperature in Fahrenheit and converted into a Celsius. But if you look at line tw 29 in the mes message statement, you have something called Celsius, and in the bracket it has temp. So we know that that is how you call a function or a procedure. So the Celsius is nothing but this function within the script. And that's the name of the function, and it's taking a something or a value. You know, I'll say something for the... to kind of make it very generic in nature so whatever we pass here and here we are passing temp so that goes in as f degrees so once it calls once this line 29 calls celsius it comes here and then it says you know it's displaying a message so that you know we know at what point you know uh, our execution goes into the function with the name celsius and then if you look at it, you know, the function name and the variable name here are same because we know that they have to be same in order to return a value. So it's taking this uh, number, which, you know, want to be in a foreign height and then converting it into a Celsius using this formula. So whatever number comes in in, in foreign height minus 32 multiplied by 5 then divided by 9 so that's a formula to convert a Fahrenheit temperature into Celsius temperature and uh, we are assigning this value 
after converting to Celsius because we want to return the value and that's the reason why we have the variable name as Celsius because it, it has to match with the function name so what what really happens at 29 is because it has to read the whole line in order to display the message and it, it encounters this function and goes in here it passes the variable temp whatever number right that user puts in goes in there gets converted to whatever based on this formula and then returns a value so whatever value is passed back is displayed to you so let me go ahead and run the script one more time and look at it after you know about to call convert them sub so that's coming from line 29 and then it says you know enter uh, the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit that's coming from 26 so 20 to 26 26 is inside the sub uh, procedure then it says uh, I'm inside so that's the uh, line number 27 and it says about to call uh, Celsius function that's 29 sorry 27 now it's going to it's when I click OK the system goes to 29 and when it goes to 29 it reads the whole line but it needs to calculate the output of Celsius temps this one so when I click OK the system will you know encounter the Celsius and calls the function and you can see here from Celsius function that's coming from here and I'm inside Celsius that's coming from here line 34 so from 29 it came to 34 you do OK I see the message so because it finished this and the return value was kind of inserted into the message that was displayed by message box that's exactly what happened and let me click OK and done so execution is done so primarily the script executes from line 1 all the way till here that's it and here we made a call since we made a call it went into this sub procedure and within the sub procedure we called uh, you know this uh, you know this function so from here it came here returned back displayed the message and it was done line 21 was the last line of course it jumped to the other um, you know sub procedure and sub function I mean, it's a sub procedure and function, but this is where the call, you know, was made. Now, let me demonstrate to you something real quick. Let's say, for example, instead of saying Celsius here, let's say I say um, X, Y, Z, and let's see what happens. Let me go ahead and run it. About to call, I'm going to enter 100. Okay, okay inside Celsius that's come from 34 cent so needs to calculate here and there was an error variable is undefined this first thing is that so let, let us go ahead and declare that uh, variable I'll say dim X Y Z save it and let's run the script just clicking through 100 still it has a problem sorry the problem was okay now I have the variable declared let me go ahead and run the script save it okay click through 100 see the temperature is is there's nothing there and says degree Celsius and that's coming from 29 because even though we calculated the value, the value, the calculator value was assigned to a variable x, y, z, and that was never returned. That's why you know that is blank. So instead to demonstrate it, let's say if I do this equal to let's say um, training. I'm declaring a variable. I'm look at this variable. The variable is nothing but the function name. Let me go ahead and run it. Click through 100. Clicking through. Look at this. The temperature is training degree Celsius. So, literally, whatever value the function returns here, this sub function will take that insert in, in there and then display the message. 
all I'm trying to demonstrate here is that whatever value that is assigned to a variable that matches with the function name gets returned. So that's the whole point here. So I'm going to fix this script real quick. Delete this. We don't, do, we don't need this. Save the script and go ahead and run it one more time just to make sure the script runs properly. There you go. We have temperature is 37.777 degrees Celsius. Well, now we have, you know, in the script, uh, we kind of used both sub procedure and um, function procedure. We kind of called a function procedure from inside sub procedure. So kind of get a hang of it. You, it might look a little bit confused, but it's actually fairly simple. J you know, just pay attention and see that, you know, understand how the code is being executed, how the calls are being made, and then it looks, you know, it will pretty much be clear to you, okay? Uh, you know, do not hesitate to rewind and watch again if you are, you know, if the concepts are not clear, and then, you know, we will uh, start getting into the other uh, scripts here real quick.